here goes. Nice place. Prick. Be careful, dude! We came through the main entrance and no one's appeared yet! Right. It almost seems like he's... Not home? So, you made me come all this way for nothing? That's it! I've gotta... break something! Dude, he should be here! I've done the research, dude! Right now, Fire should be staring into his mirror! Who's the most adonic of them all, dude? Ugh, what a freak. Yeah, he was voted most likely to earn a degrading name in the pretty times, dude. So, he's in his room. I've done the research, dude. All right, you know what to do. Standard pretty looting formation. Let's move it. Roger that, dude.
everything that's valuable. <laughs> Master Etna, did you hear that? <laughs> what? You're just hearing things. <laughs> He's choking, dude! How rude! You should never ignore a gentleman. What is it now? Kind of busy here? That is hardly a proper reaction after pilfering Moi's treasure. But I give you credit for your bravery. <laughs> My name is Vyers. I am the lord of this castle. Finally? So you're Vyers. <gasps> what is it now, you freak? I cannot help it. It seems when people call Moi that name, I get this... Overwhelming sensation. Oh, it brings such tears to my eyes. <laughs> Looks like the rumors were right. You are a freak. My dear, I am an aristocrat blessed with beauty and power. They call moi the Dark Adonis. Now, mademoiselle, you are no ordinary thief. Am moi right? Yeah, well, you're no ordinary spaz. I admit it. I came here to eliminate you. Ah, I see. But, mademoiselle, you cannot defeat moi. Yeah, that's what they all say. But too bad for you. I'm not your opponent today. <laughs> then who wishes to face moi? Beg for mercy! You face the son of King Krachetskoy, Prince Laharl! Um, <laughs> nice to meet you! I'm Prince Laharl, dude! <laughs> Your attempts at humor don't go over well with nobles, such as myself. You think this is a joke? What's the problem? I'm Prince Laharl, dude! You, sir, are a pretty. You idiot! Look closer! Don't you see the antenna? <laughs> well, Laharl did have those. See? That proves he's the prince. I you would have moi believe he is the prince simply because he has antennae? What more could you possibly want? Laharl is Krachevskoy's son, is he not? Shouldn't he have something more? His father's noble and sparkling good looks, for example? Yeah, right. If he was anything like his father, I wouldn't have killed him. Eh? Oh, God. Anyways, this is the prince. It doesn't matter what you say. Wait, w w what happened to, uh... Ugh, just kill him. Go, pretty, uh, prince. Master Edna, this ain't gonna work, dude.
But of course! I see. Beautiful mademoiselle, does your conscience not ache? Nope, not at all. Yeah, dude, nothing can hurt Master Etna's dark conscience! <laughs> Why should I feel bad about defeating you anyway? That is not what I meant. Do you have no regard for the wishes of your master? Have you no loyalties to anyone? Hey, you're a demon too. Betrayal is a part of what we do. Besides, I pledged my loyalty to King Krzyzewskoy, not the prince. Do you believe King Krzyzewskoy would be proud of you were he standing before you now? What? King Krzyzewskoy is dead. Hmm? gonna decide how I'm gonna live my life. I'm sure King Krzyzewski would understand. Let's go, pretties! Looks like we've had a change of plans. What will he do now? Yes, he just woke up, but his powers are still there. In fact, he just crushed the new up-and-coming demon by brute force. I see. But still, how did he survive after drinking that potion? And he has gained so much power. This is not good. Don't worry about it. Leave everything to me and the crown will be yours. Are you certain? Of course. Just remember. I know. When I reign as the Overlord, I will give you what you want. <laughs> it's time for Etna's Q&A Corner! This isn't the next episode preview! I'm taking this time out of my busy schedule to answer all your letters! This has got to be a scam, dude! Let's check out the first letter. It's from a seven-year-old boy from Earth. Now, let's see. Help me! I'm always being picked on at school. Sounds pretty serious, dude. Are you sure you can handle it? Please, they're little kids. I can massacre her like a billion little bullies. Wow, dude! Master Etna, you're willing to help him out? Sure! And I'll do it for the amazingly low price of 500 million health. What? No kid can afford that, dude! All they have to do is ask their mom or dad. But no one has that kind of dough, dude! Well, I'm not running a charity here. So you're not gonna do anything? You're horrible, dude! Fine, he doesn't have to pay now. After he dies and becomes a printy, I'll just make him work it off. Don't do it, dude! 20-hour work days are hell! Run away while you still can, dude! If you really want my help, send me another letter. You don't even get paid, dude! You hardly get fed, too! Don't even think about it! Okay! You keep on talking, and I'll toss you out again! Stand up to bullies, dude! She doesn't look happy! I think she met with that demon! Not even Master Etna could disobey him, dude! Anywho, I envy him for being able to command Master Etna, dude! Is he blackmailing her or what, dude? What can someone possibly have to blackmail her with, dude? Maybe... Master Etna's just a spy from an alternate netherworld, dude! You got it all wrong! She's definitely a spy from the future, dude! No, no, no! She's a space detective! Here to protect the peace, dude! 
Space Detective. Did somebody here just mention a Space Detective? Who's that, dude? I don't know, dude! Please forgive me. My name is Flan, and I came from Celestia. It's a pleasure to meet you.